Hey guys, welcome to Android Apps. In this lab, I am going to show you an experiment on how to use Google Sheet as cloud database for your Android application. Okay, the basic principle behind this application is publishing Google Spreadsheet as JSON data and fetching the JSON data to your Android application. Uh, this experiment consists of two parts and first one is setting Google Sheet. Okay, this is the Google Sheet of my experiment and I have named it as Android Labs Test. These are the two attributes, name and country. So, go to file, oh, wait a minute. Okay, go to file and click on share. Click on advanced. Now in advanced, change that link sharing. Click on on anyone with the link. Okay, this is very important. Click on save. Now the link is generated. Go to file and click on publish to the web. Now the document will be published. Okay. <clears throat> now find the URL of your uh, spreadsheet. Here is the script which is going to fetch JSON data and uh, copy your spreadsheet ID and paste in this part your spreadsheet ID okay change that part and copy your paste your link okay here is the link which is going to fetch JSON data okay see the JSON data for my sheet has been fetched and that's all with the first part and now I'm moving with the second part you can find the that URL in the description part okay I'm creating new project hope you all are familiar with these steps please click on basic activity only click on finish it will take some time to build okay here is my project empty project Uh, basically I am I have made experiment earlier and I have a source code in my blog I will copy and paste the source code for all the respective part for first I am going to copy gradle part so build out gradle file for application just copy and paste you can find the source code in androidlabs.info it's my official blog okay after this okay, these are the two main libraries I am including in my project apart from everything remains same click on sync now it takes some time to sync by that time let us start with the XML part this is my activity main XML and copying the part and replacing it in the project main XML file this is activity main XML file this XML consists of a list for where I'm going to list out my fetch data so this here is my list view and next part is copy layout row view this is this layer xml part just represents individual element of a list that is individual row of a list so i'm going to create a new layout resource file name it as row 
sorry i have given a name for it this is layout row okay layout okay layout row view here is my file and the context It just replace with the code so it consists of two text views that's all and here is my main activity Java just copy the whole code and replace it in the main activity of your app basically it will be having many errors as it is depending on some other activities that is classes these are the depending classes I need to import now I am going to create this main part where this fetching happens this includes three parts adopter model and parser and I am going to start with the model model basically tells how what all the things I need to include in the particular array so I have created a package and creating my data my data model class here is my class just replace whole code with the code provided it is ready now create JSON parser which is going to pass the fast URL copy it create new package and add json parser class to it okay now replace the code okay there is one error okay with respect to package oh then the mismatch in the spelling here it is caps and rename it Now error has gone. Now the third part is adopter class. So I need to create an adopter for list. Just create a package called adopter and create it. Okay. Create a new class my adopters will confirm it okay my array adopter okay this class holds the array of data fetched from which is parsed from parser now I am done with the uh, three modules and now I am going to optimize the code by checking internet connection and providing key value I am creating a utility package here I am creating a new class for checking internet connection that is internet connection ok just replace the code I am copying copy paste okay and here is a key class prop for simplicity purpose I have created this class key oh my god okay I'll remove it just 
Okay, there is it. Okay, spelling with the util. Okay, now it's gone. Okay, here also it's problem with spelling, I think. Okay, now it has gone. Now let's check with the main activity. Okay, there are no errors. Okay, there is one error. Basically, here I need to add get country instead of phone. Previously, I made an experiment with the phone data. So, country. Okay. Now, there are no errors. Okay. All Java part is done. Now, I am going to check with the manifest file okay before manifest let us change the url in the json parser class replace the url you have created okay you can find the url for replacement in the description okay now i'm going to change the manifest part just I'm replacing it the manifest I have created. Okay, it's done now. I'm going to build and run it. Click on launch. I'm checking with my device. Here is a virtual emulator. Okay, this is my app created. So click on fetch. Okay, you can see that data has been fetched. You can compare now. Okay, wait a second. I'm going to show by adding a new value to Excel sheet. Sorry, Google spreadsheet. you can check okay Vinay has been updated in the app okay that's all folks guys thanks for watching click on the source code to get the source code and follow us on Facebook and don't forget to subscribe bye bye